Dream Team, baby. Yeah. Here we go. Chris and I are heading up the hill. And we got Will and Garrett sitting on a hay field. We're going to go and try and get to the backside of a cornfield or up on these ridges here. So, Playing the property line game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. It's time to start climbing. Let's go back up a little ways to see what we see. Side hill back up a ways. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we finally picked a spot. Ended up not making it through the cornfield that we wanted to. We think that uh, it was just too thick and nasty to go down the straw and back up, and it was over about three quarters of a mile. So we ended up walking this ridge line out here, and we found a white oak tree. Chris is setting us up right now, so it should be should be pretty good. We've uh, we see a bunch of deer sign. There's a bunch of poop and different things right here, and it doesn't seem like. There's many white oaks around here. We found this one and there's all different types of scat and different things. There's deer poop over there, there's some bear poop over there. So, and all the acorns here are just getting demolished. All caps and everything, so. That's what the plan is. We're gonna get set up, so four o'clock. So we're pretty excited. Hopefully we'll see some deer tonight. Well, Will and I are headed in. Now go get us uh evening sit here, heading out to hunt the edges of some ag and uh, see if we can get on some does that we, uh, I mean, Chris and I saw last night, so. Yeah, it should be an awesome night, I mean. I'm looking forward to it. Weather's beautiful, oh, right yeah. temperatures. Yeah, um, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's go find some deer. It does look pretty good.
recreational area here in front of us down the bottom of, the, of this uh, spine that we're on there's good scat up and down this trail um, we're in a good white oak I mean there's you you've heard it all weekend there's just food and acorns everywhere but yeah I think we're 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 set up in a good spot we'll stay here till dark and see if anything wants to walk the ridge out what are you shooting tell the viewers what you're shooting as far as like what animal yeah, if it's brown shooting? it's down no one is safe you know i mean if she's if she's still got milk on her lips it might take a second i might have to think about i'll hesitate <laughs> you know but uh no we got to put some more meat in the freezer and they all taste the same ideally a nice a, a decent buck would be nice or a nice mature doe which honestly i think is possible up here yes So we're just hanging out in the tree, you know, doing some pruning, you know, testing out good old tethered stuff, proofing the new first light bag, and uh, we're probably gonna do some deer hunting. <laughs> I don't know what you think. I hope so. Do you want to do some deer hunting? Yeah. All right. Well, last night this is so this is the field that Chris and I last night we drove by. There was half a dozen deer in it right out here in front of me but uh and there was a deer cruising the, the, the side here and will and i we just uh um crossed the rockies to get here <laughs> we hiked a we hiked a trail up and then bushwhacked down to the edge of this field it was got a little interesting there a couple of times yeah. and uh crossed the creek and got into this tree Took a little bit to kind of figure out where we wanted to be. This, even this tree is not ideal, but uh, it'll work. The thing I like about this tree is that we've got the field out here in front of us. It's, it's, it's an actual open shot, whereas a lot of these other places, there's a lot of brush between the tree and the field edge, which really limits your shot opportunities. And the other thing I like here is that we've got, well, one, we've got a really good backdrop behind us, and then two, We've got a pretty good backdrop behind Will and behind me over here. 
because you know, there's tons of trails and beds and a lot of fresh droppings. We found a lot of fresh sign, like at least this morning. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if, if Will and, and Tyler saw the, a group of deer coming in here this morning when they were heading out. I wouldn't be surprised if what we saw is mm-hmm. was them. So.
Oh boy. We got deer on film though. Did you? Oh nice. Nice. It was just, uh, I didn't have a pen for 150 yards. <laughs> 150 yards? As close as they got, and then they got spooked by something and took off. How many deer? There was only two, but there was stuff down in the woods we couldn't see. But uh, they're in that corner. Corner yeah. of the field? Yep. How far Were of a walk was it? Were you guys on the field edge? Huh? Were you guys on uh, the field edge? Yeah, we, went, <clears throat> we crossed the creek. Right up in a tree, about 20 yards off the edge of the field. Uh -huh. Yeah, and got up in a tree. It was awesome. I had a you know big open area that I could shoot from... 15 to 40 yards, no problem. A big arc. We had a great backdrop. Yeah. We had an adventure. How'd it, it go, fun. Willie? Oh, we did good. Yeah. I saw some deer. We were pretty optimistic in the beginning. What? They were there we <clears> watched <throat> them for almost an hour. And slowly faded. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys did better than we did. Yeah, where's this deer you were talking about? We didn't. No, I said, are you guys dragging I'm a deer? Kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> we didn't see a freaking deer. We didn't freaking... see a deer? Nope. They were at Lover's Rest. That's where they were. <laughs> <laughs> we saw a nice big old bobcat, though. Oh, oh yeah? shit! Yeah, yeah. A huge one. Nice. Yeah, we. I mean, there, we found a lot of like, Dude, sign. Dude, we found a bunch of sign too. We so we found a trail. That, um, there was deer on it this morning. Yeah. I found like sticky, wet droppings. Oh, that's good. And I found like fresh tracks because they still had like the powdery edges, you know. And uh, we found two scrapes that had been used. You know, at least in the last 24 hours. A ton of deer hours. sign. No rubs, but it was a ton of deer sign. Oh, it was an open, not a push. Dang it. Ah. All right, Gary. Let's, Let's say nobody saw that thing off. Okay. Ooh, it smells good out there. What's happening in here, boys? Oh, you know, just a little dinner time. A little dinner time for action. Dinner time? So, uh, Tyler and Will brought us some... Uh, What's on the menu fancy? tonight? What's on the menu? We have Mission flour tortilla burritos they're super soft we don't want any of that weird like not super soft stuff super soft is the way to go dude. super soft you gotta get a little it's got good feel to it in your hands yeah a little squishy mm -hmm. you know it tastes good in the mouth will's a big um, fan of the super soft mm. this is an eight count, which is great i don't know why but it is we've got some uh this so this is key sour cream mm -hmm. one chris will eat this out of the container don't lie chris don't lie i'm for you um, his whole family has a sour cream problem, <laughs> but this particular one is the squeezy one. So I don't know if you're familiar with for those of you out there watching us at home tonight. If you ain't squeezing your sour cream, you ain't doing it right. Yeah. We don't, we don't scoop, we squeeze. Yep. Cause it doesn't come off of the stupid spoon. Nope. So you gotta squeeze it. Oh, yeah. squeeze then it, man. we've got some, uh, this is from hand squeezed dairy cows and hand, Ooh. you know, hand aged, good. you know, cheese that you get at the store. Mm -hmm. No big deal. Um, this was hand shredded by an 80 year old woman. And in then, Cuba. In Cuba. And then at Signature Farms. Hey, <laughs> nothing but the best for you guys. Yeah, man. hand shredded. Just for you, Chris. They washed their hands before they shredded this. Oh, yeah. I doubt that. With the waterproof headlamps. We're good. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. So talk to me, Will. Let's see what this meat looks like. What, what's on the, what is this, Will? I think this is venison with what percent of beef fat? 10%. 10%. Of course. Hmm. Where did that deer come from? That's a that's a mixture. That's, that's a, a gangbang of uh, <laughs> venison right there. That's a yeah. Sussex County special. <laughs> Sussex County special. Will Will's deer and my deer are in there, so I hope you like. Uh, <laughs> hope you like fawn one and fawn two. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Extra so, tender. We're gonna get some bad boys whipped up here, and we'll mm. do a little taste test for everybody. That looks good. That looks good. Well guys, uh, we didn't film a closer out for this video just because we were rolling through the hunts, but um, I just wanted to close out this video here. I'm sitting here at my desk editing and I uh, just wanted to say thanks for watching guys. We really appreciate it. We had a ton of fun with Old Breed and uh, we got another one or two videos still to come from this uh, trip. But with that being said, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and follow us along on the rest of this journey. Thanks for watching guys. <music>